many cripples will walk, the man of God will not reach them. Maybe at one point, you, I, I was just trying to wonder, I was wondering in a conversation with the Lord today, whether at one point the man of God will just stand up and walk out with the cripple, yeah? walk out with the mass of the cripple. Yeah? I don't know what the Lord is able to do there. Many, many blind eyes will open in mass also. Many deaf will hear the mute will speak in light numbers. <coughs> And the lame legs will be stretched and strengthened to step down and be fortified that they may now support those precious daughters and sons of the Lord to walk, you know, on the soil, to step on the sand like anyone else. And uh, many paralytics will be healed in this coming meeting. Big stretchers, wheelchairs, crutches will be abandoned, will be collected in heaps over there. And uh, Many spinal cord injuries will be healed also. People that had lost hope, that were told there can never be regeneration of their spinal cord. And they were told this land to be there, land to be with it. And then on top of that, also, the Lord Jehovah is coming to, 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 to destroy <coughs> and dissolve many, many tumors and dry up cancers from the blood systems. And uh, as he does that, he's also going to strengthen weak necks, the necks that are very weak, even babies, and those necks cannot support their heads. And in the process of doing that, he will be able to give them life again, that they can support their heads on the neck and on the body. And broken hips, broken knees, broken ribs, broken skulls, all those will be restored. You, you feel them very well, you would not know there was any feature, any, any um, suture, any crack, or any break on the bones. And many other metals also in the hips will dissolve. Amen. And then the Lord in the process will visit the internal organs, those that will need other structures to be placed for the internal organs. The spleen, the liver, the heart, the lungs, you know, the intestines, they visit the internal organs that restore people. Even when medicine had imaged and told them that ah, yours is so bad, we cannot open it. Yours cannot be repaired, cannot be restored. And at the same time, the Lord in this coming meeting in Akuru, even as he visits the tremendous open heaven that will take place in this meeting, he is going to visit people's blood conditions. So those will, those, those will include HIV AIDS, HIV AIDS, the leukemias, the diabetes, the hypertension, and all these, including hepatitis, all those conditions will be mopped out, they'll be wiped away by the mighty power of the the Lord will also visit the psychosis, the mentally challenged, people whose mental capacities are in one way or the other being messed up by the sorrows of this life, you know. The mentally ill, those who are in organic states and many, he's going to heal them <coughs> and restore their capacities, even regenerate, bring back their memories, you know. They'll remember now where they are, where they were, where their homes are, what the mother was, and all these things. They will happen in that place. And in so doing, the Lord at the same time will also open the floor and tubes of women. Yeah. Yeah. The tubes have been blocked. He will open them and bring joy to them when they conceive. At this time in this life. And in so doing, the Lord will put a smile on their faces. Amen. The destitute, those who are desolate and in fear. And as the Lord does all these things, He's going to remember even marriages that are broken. He's going to remember people that are in situations that are of fear. Let's say you have been promised that you'll be fired from your job. You've been promised that things are not well financially, you know, in your company, 
and many other things that bring distress and cause the children of God to suffer anguish in this life, in this world of sorrows. But the Lord says He's now coming to pacify them, and He's coming to tranquilize them, and to calm them down, and then to bless them. The Lord will dry wounds, wounds, chronic wounds, wounds that are rich to the bones, wounds that don't heal. Doctors have tried to manage in many ways, different ways. Some have been cut in ways to try to, you know, regenerate and so forth. And he's going to bring healing to those chronic wounds that have no hope of healing. And in so doing, he's going to re-establish again the authority and the power of the blood of Jesus. diseases, all forms of diseases under the sun. I want to start yourself blessed that you can sit here and listen to these mighty, mighty, shocking and tremendous words about the visitation that is upcoming in, uh, in Nakul. And so yours is to go and make sure you're in right standing with the Lord repented, well, righteous, and holy, that you may partake of the visitation of the Lord, and then also to perform the tasks you will be assigned with all manner of perfection and goodness, <coughs> that at the end of it all we may celebrate the meeting and the visitation of the Lord that works. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> yes, I have seen the Lord do mighty things of the children, young boys and girls, people who are mature, the whole is going to make a big visitation in this land. And this is going to be historic in the nature. Mm -hmm. May the Lord bless you very much. Mm -hmm.